hate elevators though. Love elevator music. What's going on YouTube? My name is Diesel and today we're back. In the scrap mechanic, there was an update last night as I was getting angry at stuff. I was getting kind of upset because we were getting a little uh, heartbroken at the fact that we were having some issues getting things taken care of. Everyone was like, hey man, uh, you missed a switch. No, I did not. Uh, this was how it was when I got here. And I just, I think I forgot to put it on camera. Like, then when I turned it on, and still I cannot select anything. And it's not just me either, it was uh, Durf as well was having trouble. He went into this place, flicked it on, and all it does is just turn on, just turn stuff on and off, man. Just turn the lights on. Okay. I mean, technically we should power this down in order for everything to, I don't know, work, but I can't select any of these blocks. No scaffold in here, but I do have a couple questions, but I went I went by one of my bags and I was able to loot it back uh, again. So let's see if we can get some of our stuff. <gasps> oh, okay. Was thrown like bull. <laughs> We're doing a little rush job, but this is not our episode for today. I have built a little something something to try and get our, oh, so it just leads to, leads to this. Okay. So I blow something up, I could blow it up. I'll, I'll, I will blow something up. But yeah, just the only things that are destructible are the paper boxes that are in here at the moment. Um, so I have a question about that. So everything is turned on, that's the switch, and there's not another one. There is not another switch. I have checked every single room in this whole john. Every single nook and cranny, extra crevice. I want to thank everyone for all the comments trying to help out. Uh, like, uh, sm hey, can you smack the bag back outside? Um, technically you could, but in order for you to get to these places, you have to go through some of these ducks and, uh, quack, quack. Let's see if we can loot this. <gasps> thank you. We can finally get our things back. Oh, there's broccoli. And all my glow sticks. All my food. Oh, dude, we're so, we're so jacked up right now. Oh, oh yeah. I am seriously stuffed. But see, this is what I'm talking about. These jams right here, you would have had to knock out that thing. Plus I was hitting it once or, I think I was able to hit it two or three times. And then uh, it would get stuck to the floor again. But now we can loot it, so it's fine. Here's another area that looks like it would be important. Nothing's destructible. I can't take anything. There's nothing going on. Buttons aren't connected, nothing. That's why I was so frustrated. But I have another question, and maybe this could be the answer to why we can't collect anything. Here's those ducks I was talking about, and you better watch yourself when you're in here because and go in first person. Because sometimes you can get stuck on here and you can die just on getting stuck in here. Thank you, Scrap Mechanic. Aha! Here's our body again. Oh, components. We'll take those all day. Sir. Sir. Look at me. Sir. Sun shake. Delicious. Nutritious. Wunderbar. Alright. This I have a question about. So, there's two doors. One door has loot, and this other door is just a thing of orange. I don't know what that... It's just an orange sign. I don't know what that orange sign means, but I think it says, uh, it's uh, something a little important here. That maybe I have not, we've not thought about. I just don't think so anyway. I don't think this even works. Also, you can't use your connection tool in here. It does not work. Because you're not supposed to be able to build in here. But we can lift. Let's go ahead and hop over here. So, in the video, I go to the left. And in this, was a it was like some crazy loot, you know? We're bursting over boxes. Can I take this now? I can't take this. See, I can't take anything. But then you go over to this orange one and you're just like you break through and you're like, oh, I guess I'm just here. Like what's what's the point of this in here? Like is there anything I can break? It just seems like like this doesn't have a use to it unless and I don't know. I'm just being weird. It just seems like this would be maybe another section where maybe you have to choose. Like, do you want loot? 
Or do you want to break the blocks or get blocks? But it was kind of nice to see Durf had the same problem, so I know that it's not just me. So these are the questions that I have. But at least we can now loot our bodies. So, you know, small victories. Small victories, my friends. Small victories. We got my work gloves on today, brother. Let's be working. We're getting after it. You know what I'm saying? We gotta protect our house. We must protect this house. Especially since we got all of our stuff back. Uh, two, one. It's amazing when you have, like, you're trying to struggle to get everything back that you once had. And you build everything up. Oh, I found those two. It's nice. Um, and then out of nowhere, you get it all back and it's fantastic. Everyone's happy. I need some place to store just food. And that's what this jam is going to be. My man, pop you here. Let's get some burgers on that tool. I got, I got, I have so many, I have so many burgers. Put you there. Put you there, put you there. So, there's a bug, it's a broccoli bug. Kind of bums me out to be honest with you. So, whenever I have tried to plant broccoli, so as you can see, I was only given five seeds, but I have tw uh, 20, 33 seeds. As you can see, I have no broccoli. I have no broccoli except for two sprouts, and those are just random sprouts that I found throughout the world. Yeah, so when you go to plant the broccoli, and then it uh, rises up. It takes about two days, so just prepare yourself. Prepare yourself for war. Farm brought war. You harvest them. And they just give you the seeds. Now, I've also tried fertilizing as well. It's like maybe it just needs fertilizer and it just is a special seed. It needs some special attention. Nope. Uh, fertilized it, watered it. Uh, I had to water it again because it's a two day water. Because the uh, soil got dry as well. And then I watered it again. And everything was everything. Gave me the seeds, didn't give me the broccoli. So, gotta keep my eyes on it. Um, I haven't been talking to the devs, but I did ask a couple questions on the Steam page. Like, hey, anybody else having this problem? And no one's contacted me yet. So, I'll keep my, I got my ear to the ground. It's all good. But, we must protect this house now that we are planning all of this stuff, especially some spuds. We need, we need, we need weapons because as you can see, I have a lot of food, bro. I can go ahead and start transferring over, especially these pineapples. Oh. Pineapples, we get our Gatlin gun, but we need four stacks of broccoli to get our spud french fry shotgun, and we can't get it without that. Also, rares, rare, uh, rare cosmetics packets from the uh, from the trader. Those also take nothing but broccoli. It's a bummer. It's a real drag. So what we're gonna do is I am going to plant some pineapple because pineapple is what we need to succeed to get our Gatlin gun, and I just need literally one more. Go ahead and just fill it up with pine. Uh, fill it up with pineapples, and we'll get more ammunition because with the Gatlin gun, we're gonna go through a lot of it. Boop 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 boop. Do 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 do. That's a lot of spuds. Unauthorized farming detected. <gasps> Bring it on! You have no idea what you're up against because boop boop. We're just moving some of this jam right in here, my man. That's that's a, that's, that's a beautiful thing to see right here, right here. Uh, I've done some upgrading to our walls. Hey, <laughs> it's a bit much. Now, I am aware that Haybots are afraid of these blades. Like, they'll go there, uh, I'll stand right here. The Haybots will start swarming up to me and then they see the blades and they're like, I'm not getting close to this. And they just kind of figure out a way to path. Sometimes they'll stop and they'll see this one space and then they'll charge forward. These blades though, they don't seem to be doing any damage to them. But, the hesitation's all you need, and if these blades get broken, it's easier to replace these blades for me than to, well I wouldn't say easier, but it's just less time consuming than to put, uh, to replace all these blocks, because these are the secondary concrete blocks, so not the main concrete, then it goes to regular concrete, and then it gets to the reinforced concrete, which takes a metal and concrete together. And we strewn that about, it's taken some beatings already, and it's still ready to rock and rolls. But They're all hooked up. There is one more that's down here. It's over here I want to put there, but the tote bots are also something that kind of go underneath it. So that way when I finish up this wall, I'm getting rid of the tote bot heads for the alarm. It's not even an alarm system. It's just maybe a war. <laughs> it's a war cry for the most part. And these lights, but we're replacing them as you can see with these spotlights as well. So. 
This whole area is going to be lit up. Constantly moving with those spotlights going left to right, left to right, left to right. Just kind of scanning, scanning, making sure that we can see things. And it works pretty good. We're going to set up this middle one here in a second. Let's get a controller. Controller. I got a ton of them. Okay, that's gotta go to that. Turn that on. You there. You there. Max actions reached. Oh yeah. There we go. It takes a level three in order for you to have more than two connections. And that's gonna go to the blues. Go to the red. I always try to aim my connections with the blue. Red always seems to be negative. Blue, uh, from, to me, seems positive. So if you want something to go forward, blue. If you want something to go backwards, red. That's just me. I'm a weirdo. Uh, red. So which connection do we have for you? That's one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So one. We're going to have it go forward 30, back 30, back 30, forward 30, forward 30, back 30, back 30, forward there we go. And then we'll have these go 15? 15 degrees? I think that'll work. And we need some, uh, some spotlights. We need some headlights now. Do I have any? I do. Wunderbar. And then we'll need to uh, get some flowers. Pick some flowers. Oh, we have a headlight right there, too. Let's go ahead and we'll just take that. Because it is obsolete after this. Boop. You. Boop. And now. It's bent. It's scanning. Oh yeah. Fantastic. Uh, let's put you here. I'm going to blast. I'm going to blast you with light. And now we just need to get some color. There you go, Melissa and Fran. Eat that corn. Or as Durf likes to call it, Kern. He says it in a different way, though. I like it. So, as you can see, our vehicle, she is all 100% painted. She's gorgeous. I don't know what to call her. I'd like to have someone uh, name her. Name her something special. Name her something pretty. I want it to be a lady's name. But don't be like the Destroyer or some some, some junk like that, you know? Because it's not destroying. It's our, it's our transport vehicle. I'm thinking like, think of like Gone in 60 Seconds, where all the car names had a... A lady's name like Eleanor or Judith. We need to name it. So that's just me though, because I'm a weirdo. Let's go ahead and go ahead and pop that's most important. And look at this. It's moving. Are you moving at all? Oh, hold on. Loop. <laughs> My bad. There we go. Now it's going back and forth. Bop, 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 bop. Don't forget that one. Perfect. Looks like it's scanning all the area. Oh, that's too cool. It works. So that it goes just a little bit further. And that the time is just a little bit off compared to the rest of them. So that, that way it looks like they're all independent of each other. And uh, not that it... It's necessary to have that happen, but aesthetically, it kind of looks more pleasing to me, at least, and that's really what matters, don't you think? There we go. Let's take a look here before the uh, before the apocalypse happens. There we go. So it doesn't perfectly move with this one, but it slightly does a little bit. Nothing too crazy. And the best part about these blades, whoop, I can jump over top of them. Bang. <laughs> solutions, my friends. Well, it's not really solutions. It's just it's a fun thing to do. Let's go ahead and pop that up. We've got a half an hour. Half an hour, AK, 30 seconds. Get ready for war. This is only wave number one, so let's not get nuts. Oh, I forgot to, uh, <laughs> forgot to water everything. Hey. All right. Bring it on. Let's turn on those blades. The lag is real. 
Oh, you don't like those blades. Oh, that's okay, because I got a gun. Go ahead and easily line you, line them up. Woo! Woo! Kill the pawns! Kill the minions! The second those blades get turned on, bro, the lag gets a little bit realer than it should. And then we hop up over here. Turn it off. Wave one completed. How many bullets did I go through? 20. Ah, that's a lie. I didn't, I uh, went through a couple of them. A, couple, a little bit more than 20. A little bit more than 20. <laughs> but it works. I know, like I said, the damage, the, the bots don't go anywhere close to it because, you know, they're the bots. They're not that stupid. Although they are pretty dumb. But if you have a gun or a Gatlin gun, then there's no point in really worrying about that because you can just shoot them in the mouth and collect your profits. And zero damage. Zero damage on the wall, zero damage to the blades. If a blade gets uh, repla uh, knocked out, then we can just easily replace that. It ain't no big thing, chicken wing. No, I'm saying it works. It works. <laughs> oh, here's something else that may uh, be added and maybe somebody else could help me out with. We're getting tons of seeds, like lots of seeds, like so many seeds. I don't even know what to do with, and I really don't need any more. I don't, I don't want any more. And it's like an overabundance of seeds. Um, what we, what I kind of like to have possibly is a, I don't know, like a trash can, <laughs> a garbage dumpster, someplace I could just toss these things because otherwise, things like these circuit boards, which I have so many of from killing all these different toad bots. Um, I'm just tossing them in the river. I'm just I'm throwing in the lake. I'm, uh, I'm I'm being a very bad example to the environment. But like seeds, I know that we need seeds, no 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 doubt. But like, I got so many, bro. Harm coming our way, and I also have a seed here too. Ah, yeah. It's my death chair, my observation tower. Yes, it's fantastic. Eh. Come on, brother. Let's go, guys. Who wants some? Huh? Oh. <laughs> hey, guys. Oh, you can't touch my wall, can you? That's fine by me. I see you over there, buddy. Hi, guy. Hey, buddy. What's going on, buddy? Knuckle up. Knuckle up, clown. Uh-oh. What do you think you're doing, tiger? <laughs> Let's turn that off. Components, circuit boards. We get tons of them. I don't need all of them. I need metal and blocks and all sorts of stuff and such, but I do not need circuit boards and oh my god. Hey man, is that a tape bot? That's a tape bot. I know how to deal with you tape bot. I know how to deal with you real easy. Just shoot you once. Shoot me once. I won't need to shoot you twice. Because you'll be dead. All right, and now you're all loaded up and in there. Delicious, fantastic. Grab you, grab you. Thank you very much. I, uh, the best part about this uh, two system setup, this two uh, box setup here, is uh, you can store all the stuff in here, and then whenever you want to shoot it, uh, shoot it out. Boom! Put it in this front chest, and then <laughs> oh, for the best. Let's go ahead and see here. I gotta move it up. Gotta move it up. Oof. Oof. Let's boost this up. What do you say there, brother? <laughs> Come on now. Woo! It's quite the weight. There we go. Uh, hopefully that won't screw anything up. Uh, should be fine. All right. The night she falls, but this is my favorite part about this packing station here: is the roller coaster ride, <laughs> the roller coaster ride of a road that we got here, brother. Come on now. Hands up in the air, baby. Woo! 
And then through the Splash Mountain. We're getting splashed. Awesome. Hey guys, what's going on? What you doing in there, huh? How you doing, brother? Doing okay? Help! Sounds like Ray Romano. No! Oh. <laughs> help! It's okay, guys. I'm gonna give you some help. So we got our pineapples over here. Let's go ahead and suck those up. We uh, can leave our... Hello? We can, leave, we can leave our vehicles in there. There's no big deal. No big whoop. Awesome. Eh. Come on, boys. Time to go home. Eh. <laughs> Oi. <laughs> Ooh, oh. Gotcha. Bye-bye. <laughs> it's so nice having this giant thing. It's so huge. All right. So let's see what we got. I believe we should be able to get our Gatling guy. Oh, it's five. Oh, I made a miscalculation. Won't be the first time. Uh, it's not the first time. Won't be the last. Saw blades, drills. I don't see why you should even bother with bringing five crates to get one drill. Seems a little excessive. Um, Now, this would be nice to have. It's fertilizer. I want them bananas. I want them nanner seeds, baby. We got, we got carrots, too. We got tons of carrots. Yeah. Nanners and bananas. Banana, 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 banana. So wait, the only thing that requires pineapples is the Gatlin gun? Well, shoot. Well, I already have one blueberry stacked up in there. And we got four stacked up in there. It'll take me a little time to try and bring everything up and try to grow everything I need to grow. Come on. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Super fast. We're super fast. Come here. Let's just knock that down a smidge. A, a tad, a hint. Awesome. Let's bring you down here, tiger. Okay, tiger. Drop it in like it's hot. Folks, that is going to be your episode for today. We got our wall blades, our saw blades of doom. Rock and roll. Let's raise this up here a smidge. There we go. And this... This is fine for right now, but not really, because those four really stack up there, and I could put a fifth on top of there. That ain't no big thing, but this is this is getting to be a little much. We're going to have to build a transport vehicle, because we got a lot of food, man. We're getting a lot of food. We got a lot of growing going on, and once we get that Gatlin gun, we got a lot of protection going on, too. You know what I'm saying? You guys know what I'm saying. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> but folks, like I said, that's going to be your episode for today. If you enjoyed this video, by all means, hit that like button. Helps out my channel ever so much more than you know. And if you like it a whole lot, go ahead, hit subscribe. New videos are coming out every single day, every single week. Folks, have a great day, afternoon, evening. Oh my God, good night. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> got this, we got this. We're fine, we're fine. Hold on. It's because these shocks are too much. That it's causing a problem with our steering in the front. Because it's so stiff. There we go. Now we're better. Everyone, peace out like y'all, and I will check you out right here again in Scrap Mechanic Survival next time.